Uh, hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, my name is Reed Price. I'm the studio head at Red Meat Games. I'm also the sound designer and musician. Uh, I have a 3D artist background. I kind of miss doing that, but um, sound and uh, studio management called, so here we are. I actually love doing sound too. So. Uh, before joining Red Meat Games, I was working as a freelance artist, as a, a 3D artist, and um, I was also just starting to do uh, sound effects and music for games. So that's something that I kind of um, uh, had great interest in for a lot of years and um, I realized I had a bit of an aptitude to create and edit sounds fairly well and implement them in game and uh, ended up doing uh, um, contract work for, for sound and music as well as 3D art. Uh, then um, I met the powers that be at Red Meat Games and was happy to have them invite me to join the team and that was geez, maybe five years ago already. I've been into games since uh, literally since I could remember. Um, first system I played on was the VIC-20 and then uh, Atari XL, Atari 2600, yada yada. It's been, been quite a few years that they're, they're piling up pretty quick. Video game wise, I, I love the Resident Evil series, I love the Metal Gear Solid series, I love the Final Fantasy series, although I haven't played too much of the new ones, but that's a, another story. Um, I just finished playing Last of Us 2 and it's absolutely incredible. I, I, I can't believe how amazing that game is. Music and video games are pretty much the biggest influences on my life and uh, as far as musicians I like, I love a lot of soul music. Uh, funk music and uh, stuff with uh, makes you move and groove, uh, your traditional uh, uh, black American music that, that's pulled from a lot of different influences and uh, that's what uh, keeps me going. And the hardest part about doing sound design and music is that while you're working during the day you can't really listen to music so it's kind of the only bummer about doing sound design during the day. But I get my fill in that after hours. Uh, Sentience to me is a very fun concept. I think it's going to be uh, one of those games that's amazing to play with your friends and uh, online buds. Um, it's a whittled down to its core. It's, Sentience is a, a game of robot cat and mouse, <laughs> so to speak. Um, when you're the cat, you the only difference is you got to find the robot mouse that, that holds specific attributes that, that allow you the opportunity or the choice to attack. So you, you got to find um, the appropriate prey um, and how you do that is where the magic is in sentience uh, with all the tools at your disposal and of course you can play the rogue which I'm referring to as a robot mouse for some reason and uh, you can hide from the, uh, the sentinel aka in my silly mind the robot cat <laughs> but it is essentially a game of cat and mouse with uh, a lot of fun spells and whistles on it and um, you gotta hide and uh, be stealthy, blend in, or if you're on the other side of things, you gotta use tools at your disposal and be very aware, uh, add to your surroundings to find your prey. And within that, you have endless hours of uh, fun and uh, experience and exploration. It's really fun. Uh, for Sentience, uh, the sound end of things on Sentience, I use uh, Cubase for sound processing uh, and laying out sounds. I use uh, Audacity quite a bit completely free program that is perfect for just laying out sound simply. I do some sound processing in there and uh, export and then inevitably bring them into Cubase uh, LE for, for more work. And I also use WISE. Uh, WISE is an incredible um, third-party software tool for, for sound designers. Uh, having the opportunity to work with WISE on this project has um, really elevated my game naturally just by having that software. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, the music for Sentience uh, comes from well, we, we're in this kind of um, obviously very robotic world, so we want the music to be quite mechanical and lends itself well to kind of a futuristic techie sound. I actually try not to look too closely at, at different music um, influences, and, and while I try to evolve my sound and, and um, ability um, somewhat naturally. Um, so I kind of go into all these amazing programs with these amazing um, virtual sound instruments at, at my disposal and throw everything to the wall and try to see if something sticks and then I'll start building on that and some days you throw everything to the wall and not a damn thing sticks and other days stuff starts sticking really quick and that's an incredibly fun process it's quite similar with sound design too so I'll start evolving these ideas now I knew I want to kind of have a techie mechanical futuristic sound so I'm, I'm, I'm flowing from that set of ideas I think the, uh, the theme song turned out pretty good and also the, the club hacking uh, music that I made with, was really fun too uh, 
That's a banger at the end, man. That is a that's a club hit. That was, <laughs> was really fun to make that and be sitting here and bopping my head and girlfriend be over and be like, what's that? I'm like, that's me. <laughs> I'll present to you. So and it starts off nice and easy and as you hack the computers more, the the, the music steps up in intensity and um, at the end it's a it's a banger, man. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Love making music. I really hope you like the music and the sentience and the sound effects and everything else, of course. It's a pretty darn cool game. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Make sure to check out Sentience on PC and console in the new year. I really appreciate y'all being here, so stick around for the rest of our journey, and we can't wait to see what y'all think of Sentience. Stay safe out there, too.